assalamu alaikum so in this short video i will show you how to uh, download install and configure my sql uh, database on windows 11 and it will work also windows 10 operating systems so in my another video uh, like this video i showed how to do this on mac ios so the main difference is that in Mac iOS you need to install and download MySQL community server and MySQL workbench separately uh, and it is a tricky uh, so, mm, but in Windows it is uh, pretty simple so in order to download MySQL uh, database first open any uh, browser and then search for MySQL database Okay, and then hopefully you will see this and then go to dev.mysql.com.download this folder if you do not directly uh, can come here so that just type in this one downloads and then um, this this folder actually here and then here you will see some links but uh, make sure that you you do not uh, download any of this you make sure that you click on my sql installer msi and then go to download page and you will see over here so the latest my sql latest installer over here but i prefer to go to one or two or a few uh, versions uh, earlier so that you, i get a stable version so in this case i will select 8.0.20 and then um, this is my windows operating system if I if you have another operating system you could select from here and then make sure that you select the complete uh, this folder okay because the, uh, the top one the first one is shorter but it will will require you internet connection and to download these uh, files uh, separately again so make sure that you download the then when the download is done okay when you open this folder then double click here and it is preparing to install and it will take, take some time and then if you see that do you want to allow this app to make change to your device so then click on yes Then again click on yes it's when it is asking your permission to change uh, your device and then installer started and then select the uh, developer default this option then click on next and you will see the requirement check this requirement this will be needed so click on next this will be automatically installed okay i already had those installed so then now these are the applications these will be installed uh, with uh, mysql database so just uh, click on execute and you will see this will be installed one by one this will take some time so you don't need to do anything unless it prompts any uh, options for you to do select some of them will be quick but some of them will take some time okay so let us wait until, uh, until all of these are um, installed now when all of these uh, are installed click on next click on next click on next and 
then here is a type and networking and configuration and by default this port is 3306 uh, for uh, for the local host and click on next and click on next okay and at this point you need to give a password for my sql root password and then you need to give a repeat password so here give attention uh, please so once you are installing mysql wordbrains and mysql server freshly so then you will see this option but in case you have and uh, a previous versions of of uh, previous version of mysql server installed in your computer so then in that case you will not see this option to give you password so in that case make sure that you completely uh, uninstall your mysql um, uh, server so in my in my another video i will show you how to completely uninstall mysql workbench but first remember that the few things you need to first install uninstall mysql uh, or mysql um, database and related things from control panel programs and programs and features so you need to uninstall each of these one by one then not done yet so then you need to install you need to uninstall or remove mysql folder from four other three other places at least first of all you need to uninstall mysql uh, or uh, mysql database from program files folder so it completely you need to delete this and then there are two other places actually one of these is uh, uh, program data so program data folder is not is in c drive but it's not visible over here you see that so you need to go to view and then show hidden items then you will see programs data and here you will see mysql you need to delete this one this folder again and then in case you delete from here you want to delete from here you may see your old databases uh, in the in this folder so you can keep the data folder backup okay if you need it if needed or also you need to uninstall you need to remove mysql from your users folder and then and then go user user and then app data is the header folder and roaming folder okay this one you need to delete so in order to completely uninstall otherwise you will not see this option to give a new uh, password for root okay if needed you can see my another video for how to completely uninstall mysql okay or again so if you do not see this option then you may need to give your old password to uh, check your connectivity so connection in case you cannot connect then you need to completely uninstall your mysql so then let me give a simple password okay. and make sure that although it says weak password but make sure that you remember your password and you, you store your password in a secure place okay and then you remember your password then click on uh, next and then click on next click on execute these are the configurations that are being configured uh, automatically 
So when you are done, then you say that MySQL, uh, the configuration of MySQL server 8.0.20 was successful and then click finish to install and then click on next connection let me finish it and then go next okay it said the server still on my sql server is running in case you do not see it's running it will not work okay and you can check your connection over here by giving your password just you okay. this is the password i get just and then I'm checking connection and says connection succeeded. That means my SQL server is connected. And then you will see the checkbox. In case if you forget your password, then you will not see the checkbox. In that case, you need to run uninstall or reinstall my SQL server again. Then click on next. And then click on execute sample and examples for configuration complete copy log to keyboard equal shell you can give my sql command over here or you can see that my sql workbench is open over here okay so this is the your root connection then if you click the connection then you have to give your password remember that you pass out you gave just and then click ok and then now you can check if there is any database over here click here and then give my schema or database name as an apply and then click apply and it's successfully created this point you can check the server status over here and if you click on server status and uh, you should see is running if you see server status is running that means your database is okay and it is connected uh, to the server and then you can click on schemas over here to check the existing key schemas so these are the uh, shakila and systems these are the existing three databases and this one i just created i see here guru underscore dev then you can do right click over here and then make it set up e set as a default schema then it will be bold and then there is no table here but uh, you can add any table or in at this point if you want to import any any of your uh, um, existing database you can do that okay so that two steps tabs over here administration and schemas so on the schemas you can see the schemas and then in the admin uh, panel you can see the administrative uh, options that's it how to install and configure mysql uh, community server database with mysql workbench remember that if you install mysql uh, server and mysql workbench separately then you need to install mysql uh, server first then mysql workbench otherwise it will not work okay thank you so much but if you uh, uh, like this video this, please give a like and share with others uh, if you have any questions or need help, please let me know. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.